Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to a new Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft video. In this video I'm going to be explaining you a really basic deck for the Priest in Hearthstone. Now this is a really strong deck for if you just now got the Priest unlocked. In this deck there aren't any, you know, fancy cards, no bolt cards, no common cards, no rare cards, no, no nothing. Just the basic cards that everyone should have access to as long as you got the Priest at level 10. So if you're looking for a deck that is basically going to help you to start off the deck and start unlocking more and more levels and, you know, start ranking up in Hearthstone, this is definitely a great way to start. Now in the early part of the game, what you would ideally want is actually a North Shire Cleric. The North Shire Cleric is a great card because it allows you to draw more cards. Now that might seem very obvious, but it will help you out a ton if you have the card advantage. Okay, so here we are in Hearthstone. Let's call it Priest Niche, because that sounds awesome. And let's actually pick the cards now. As far as the um, Priest cards that are in the game, we're gonna go Holy Smite, Power Shield, North Shire Cleric, obviously, because this is the combination that we already talked about. And from this page, uh, we pick Shadow Word Pain, Shadow Word Death, and we pick Holy Nova twice. So these are all the cards that we actually pick from the Priest side of things. Now, the other cards are all going to be neutral. So keep in mind, these are the only Priest cards that we pick, plus obviously the lesser heal that is the, um, the hero power that the Priest standard has. When we go to the neutral cards, however, we're gonna first going to go to the Ooze, which is two pages to the right. We also pick the Raptor right here. Then we go page to the right and we pick the Novice Engineer, which is one of the more important cards. Two more pages to the right and then we pick the... Um, this one, the Shattered Sun Cleric, which is also one of the standard cards that is amazing. Now from this page we kick the Chillwind Yeti and the Gnomish Inventor. After that we pick the Shieldmaster, which is also one of these very, very standard good cards. And from this page we kick the Balder First Ogre, and then we have two cards remaining, which is going to be a high mana card, for which I like to pick the Stormwind Champion, but if you want to switch it up, and maybe want to go for a little bit of a different kind of card, you could pick it up for a War Golem, or even maybe a Core Hound of, you know, if you have him, Baron Gadon is obviously not a terrible card to pick, but in general, these are all the cards that you should pick for this deck. Now keep in mind, if you have cards such as, let me have a look at it, if you have a card like this, Lightwell, Lightwell is absolutely amazing in this deck. In that case, you could always switch out one of these cards, um, for example, one of the cards that you don't really use that much, such as, for example, Shadow Word Death, you could switch one of these out and get a Lightwell, or you could maybe switch out one of the other cards that you don't enjoy as much and replace with the cards that you do have purchased. But these cards are all available to everyone, even if you haven't paid a single dime in this game. Now this deck is very very strong because it allows you to maintain deck control. What it basically means is that you allow to have cards out on the board and dominate your opponent that way. Considering we are playing Priest, you're allowed to heal up all your minions all the time and that is where the North Shire Cleric comes in because every single time um, you heal a minion with a North Shire Cleric out, it will draw a card. We're gonna put two of those in there so you could actually draw cards to a turn if you get very lucky with your draws. Other than that, you will also be able to just control the board relatively easy and you will also be able to deal relatively good damage versus your enemies. So yeah, that is pretty much it. If you want an example game of me playing this deck, BAM! Click that right there and we'll actually send you to a video where I try out this deck and where I show you um, the strengths and the weaknesses of it, where I absolutely dominate a shaman. If you liked the video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below and uh, yeah, share it so, you know, if you really liked it. Well, thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile and I will see you in the next video. Bye. In this video, I'm going to be covering a very basic build order for the race Zerg. Now, before we actually jump into the build order, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to make a few assumptions. 